Hey bless you friends, welcome back to another new video. So today, I'm not sure what exactly this video is going to be about, but I do want to get some things done with you guys. I want to show you guys the balcony. There's like so many things going on. Like y'all, the elephant ears finally ended up sprouting and they took so long. I think like almost a month and I've been told that they do take quite an amount of time. I also want to show you guys the, the bedroom. I ended up putting my right for the direct to Suprema or minimum setup of the wall as well my Arizonia aka Swiss cheese and the corn plants and they're all getting a really nice grow light a lot of things so tech shift out I think that's, that's what it's called but I ended up placing it in the bedroom which I will show you guys in a bit I also bought eight more grow lights and I want to go ahead and set them up in the plant room and tomorrow we're gonna go to Corpus which means I need to have the apartments cleaned as well a lot of plant water I was gonna go make like separate videos like literally like five but I was also gonna go ahead and film also try to, but if not, I'm gonna shove it all in this one video to make my life less chaotic and less, because I'm already way too busy and filming is a lot, there's a lot of work. <laughs> so um, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get some things done. So, but first I'm gonna go show you guys the balcony because like so many good things going on, like let's just go. <laughs> Alrighty, so by the way, this is a new setup of flowers. I ended up going with these, I think they're called carnations. Possibly, I'm not even that sure. But I got these because like supposedly they last a lot longer and also baby breasts last a pretty good amount of time as well. And to go ahead and fix this up. Yeah, this is all from HB and the reason why I wanted these because they look super duper pretty and I love how they look. And also because like I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna be gone for five days. So I need some beautiful flowers that are gonna last a good amount of time. My mom is gonna be looking after Valentino and we can't take him to Corpus, sadly, but I, my mom's gonna be over here every other day. And she's gonna go ahead and um, you know look after him. He's gonna have a lot of food. He has an automatic plant, um, an automatic litter box. And I was gonna get him an automatic feeder, but the bowl is pretty decent. Just every two days I need to get replenished. Um, or replenished, filled up again. And the water as well can last a pretty good amount of time. So yes, and here's the other one. And I'm adding these yellow ones as well. I just wanted like a little bit more yellow in it. I kind of like the way it looks, ignore the mess you guys, it's kind of messy, but um, I like it a lot. And I guess we will add it to the time lapse on cleaning the kitchen, the dining room, setting up the entire bags of the, um, the trip. And just getting things done and organized. So yeah, I might go ahead and put it all together in this one video. I just noticed the pink lines. That is so pretty. I like it. I like it a lot. It's not professional, you know, but it, it was fun. And it's crazy, like a lot of flowers and I just, I don't know, I'm, I'm a very simple person, like anything with flowers and I just love it, so <laughs> yeah. And let me go take you guys along. Oh, and here is the, this is the plant room. This is a new studio lights that I ended up ordering. This one, this the ring light is from Walmart. And then these boxes are from Amazon. Here are all the boxes. I bought eight grow lights and I have my other grow lights. They're all the same brand, not sponsored at all you guys. It's just, I literally love the lights so much. Like plants react pretty good. I do have them in a scripture box and I will have them linked down below for you guys as well. I do use other grow lights that I do have, but these are my favorites. My plants love them so much. They're affordable. I don't even, yeah, like I'm, I don't even know. What, I've never worked with them before. I would love to though, but I'm too shy to reach out. But <laughs> I've been promoting their products for super, super long and I just, I products through grow lights because they're just so good. But yes, we have these shelves. I am going to go ahead and rearrange everything else. I need to go and make sure that I have saucers. I'm going to fill all of them up with water. And then again, tonight, I will have the fan on, which means that it's going to drop pretty fast in here. And my mom is just going to walk by. And any plants that do need a little bit of water, she will go ahead and water them. I will have some water containers ready for her. Um, if that's the case, but it's just five days. Like, it's not that bad. And that piece of it does need water, though. So yes, a lot of grow lights, beautiful asparagus fern. So I'm figuring out, figuring it out, but I'm gonna go ahead and place it. But let me show you guys the balcony. I was gonna film like a cleaning video of like the balcony, but girl, <laughs> another time. My bird of paradise is starting to unfurl some fun leaves. Yay! Like there's this one, there's this little guy, this one, and here is, I think it's a, um, not quite sure, but it's, there's a new leaf coming in, as you can see. She's really, really cute. Here's also the bromeliad, by the way, if y'all like watching what happens. I mean, the 
Look it up, Mercy. Brilliant Marks, variegated phil philodendron. And it was reverting back, but I just saw the, the recent leaf and look. You can see a little bit of variegation, like right there. So that's good. Because, <laughs> like, it was scary. It was converting to green. Even though it's still beautiful, I gotta clean the leaves. Here's this guy. I think it's called Horsehead. Here's the elephant bulbs. Love you guys. I don't know what this one is. I think it was like a small little bulb that I placed. But look, it's a little cute leaf. And we have some other goodies for acá. Amorelius from the Christmas one. I put out this super long leaf. Here's the hydrangea that I got from each of you that had flowers. I, they looked bad, so I already cut them off. And I'm gonna go ahead and just have it outside. Um, my petunias, one of them already flowered. I'll go ahead and fill these buckets up so they have water as well. But it's so cute. And then my other ones on top that I had that I grew like a while back with plugs. Oh my god, I swear to god, I'm gonna drop my phone. Look at the pink one! <laughs> it's so pretty. It needs water as well. Wait, it has water though. So I don't know why she's so drippy. Huh. I think it has water. I gotta double check. This one. I had a double check as well. Baltic blue is getting long. Getting a lot of light and it's drying out way too fast. So I might go ahead and repot it to a bigger pot. But that looks weird. I think it's getting bleached out. So that's something. My Hoya is going to bloom again. And it's putting out new leaves. Can y'all see the little new leaves coming in? Oh, oh, aphids. God, I did love Hoyas. I'm going to go ahead and spray it. But there are some flowers, some buds that I saw. Oh my god, where is it? I swear. Oh, there it is. The flowers. It's like right there. Oh, crap. Oh my god, it has a lot of aphids. <sighs> Fridge. Okay. I guess I'm gonna go ahead and remove it and treat it. I don't touch any other plants. God, there's a lot. Wow, it didn't have any, like, when was it? It didn't have any, yeah, a couple of days ago, because I saw it and I didn't saw any of it. I have my tech installation in the restroom. God, that is so annoying. Okay, see, that's why it's really good to, like, film these kind of videos, because I check every single one of them, like, to detail on the camera. <laughs> What else do we have? I grew these by propagations, by nodes, and it's starting to get nice and bushy. Golden potos, I want another one because like I love golden potos a lot. This guy's starting to pull out a new leaf. It's called Violin Philodendron. My hoy is starting to put out new leaves. Has many bugs as well. Pretty orchid. My Mongeola potos looking super duper cute. This shit is Gentia and it's a good haircut. It's starting to get a little bit way too big. Um, chopping it, like giving it a nice haircut, it is gonna make it more bushier, which is nice. And my very good hydrophilic dendron decided to put out a new leaf. And here is the other one. The mother plant died, but these were by nodes. And um, yeah, it's doing pretty good. I have some potatoes creciendo para acá. My ma uh, Mickey Mouse allocation is putting out a new leaf. And then um, the other ones are some por acá, some super blues that I'm propagating. Um, the cold philodendron is putting out a new leaf. This one is a nice haircut. My lady palm is still here. New leaf. And that's basically you guys on the updates. This girl's getting bigger by the day. <laughs> I'm so excited. Oh my god, this leaf is big. The leaves feel a little bit wilted, which means it needs a good watering. 
but I'm excited for that. So I'm also like checking for other aphids on my Hoyas because I'm pretty sure they're called aphids, right? They're called the spider mites, muddy bugs, which I have all three. Oh, look, this uh, that is a muddy bug sack of eggs, I'm pretty sure. They're like a really big <laughs> grown adult. There was a bunch on this one. But what I did, I just sprayed a bunch of um, neem oil and sequito. But there's some, there's like a little egg sack right there that I gotta go and take care of. <gasps> oh, this oh, is getting big. Look at these. And then look at these two long vines. Moonshine since I started to put out some nice leaves. This is a new leaf of my calidarium. Excited for that. Beautiful. As y'all can see, there is a lot to do. And I'm not gonna lie, like I literally get mental breakdowns like almost every single day because of life and my plants. It's a lot. Like it's literally a lot. Like there's moments when like they make me super duper happy and they just like they make my soul like vibrate because I, I love them so much. But taking care of them is a whole different story. Hey baby. Valentina. Yeah, Wanna come say hi? He likes looking at the window. <laughs> no, but yeah, like, there is a lot to do, and I still gotta go ahead and pack for our five day trip to Corpus. And I gotta set all the grill lights, water all the plants, clean the apartment, and work. So, we're gonna put through. We're gonna put through. I'm honestly, I'm honestly, oh my God. I'm honestly gonna go ahead and just do a bunch of time lapse because just easier on editing so we got this some, a cup of coffee some music and plants <laughs> i guess let's get to it i just noticed it's not smart to have this next to my tie um i'm gonna move it after the after, after this clip but i'm gonna go ahead and use this one because it says that it controls aphids and this one doesn't. They're both Captain. Oh my god, I'm so stupid. I thought this was Captain Jacks, but it's not. It just says name oil on it. And this, this one's more like. I don't know. I, this is what I sprayed on my melly bugs and like they're really like gone. And this one, not so really, but this one does stink. I mean, it literally says neem oil. So I'm gonna just go ahead and use this one. We're gonna go and spray it. Now, I know you're supposed I guess I'm gonna wash it off first. So let me go wash it off. Water pressure is so bad. I guess the camera is just like crashed, but I'll... I hope this is enough. Spraying like all over the plant. And I will go ahead after this clip, pick it up and then spray at the bottom of the leaves as well. But that's pretty good.
knocked out. So we arranged the entire new plenty wall. Each plant and all these shelves have their own little saucer or cash pot. So that's really exciting. And I like how like we ended up organizing it. So like it kind of looks kind of aesthetic. More like you organized it. <clears throat> but you helped out though. And it's a lot easier to water. So baby, I almost ran you over. Yeah. Now these plants, they're a little bit too tall. They're gonna go on top of this table. We're gonna set up the tall grill at Acarriba. And yeah, like all of these would be a lot easier to go ahead and water. And each shelf is gonna have its own little grill light, which we are about to go and set up in a bit. But yeah. Oh my God, this was like so stressful. Also my Potos enjoy, I think it's called, or Glacier Potos was way too long, so I just like wrapped it around and just placed it like a river as well as some other ones because like they're just getting way too long and I don't want to chop them up because I feel bad. I feel bad for them, but yeah. So we're wrapping up the apartamento as I'm like getting it ready so we can go and leave. Getting everything cleans up. Valentino has his stuff filled up. His cat litter is all good. And the plenty room, my boyfriend already watered. <laughs> Hello. Majority, he watered already majority of all the plants, which is great. So I'm gonna set up all these lights to like four hours and then they just turn off because like less lights and a lot of, I mean, the parts of the apartment will be also like pretty cool like at 72 or 71 so they shouldn't evaporate like it sh they shouldn't dry out way too fast if that makes any sense um and valentin has his little tv on <laughs> so he doesn't go insane all the windows are up as well so he, you know he has like you can just look at it if he wants to but i think that is it you guys another video was like i don't even know how it came out but after this, I'm gonna start filming for the vlog on going to Corpus and taking guys to local plant shops. On the forecast, it is saying that it's gonna go ahead and rain a little bit, like scattered. Here in San Antonio, but in Corpus, like for one day, and then the other days will be cloudy, which is pretty great for filming. And that's basically it. I'm just, I'm so excited, but I'm also really, really scared. Hey, baby. I love Papa. <laughs> My mother will be coming over um, almost every single day. It's just five, five days, four nights. And then we're gonna come back I'm just looking out the window. And um, yeah, I will fight when my mom's here. We're gonna go on FaceTime so I can like see my baby. I can see my little baby. I can see my little baby. I'm gonna miss him so much. But I, I, he's gonna like, I, I'm pretty sure he's gonna have a lot of fun. But like, uh, he has like all the windows open. He has a lot of food. I put all his toys in the bedroom as well. And I need to put the other ones in the living room so I like something to play with. I was gonna get a cat cam so I can like check up on him, but. I don't know. I think I spent way too much money already. But yeah, my mom and my brothers will be coming over to the apartment, which is why I'm cleaning it. <laughs> and they're going to go ahead and give Valentino some company. Um, I'm so like grateful that they're going to help me out with that because like that was one of my biggest concerns, like leaving for that long, Valentino. But hey guys, thank you so much for joining me to this single video. If you enjoyed it, give it a big thumbs up. I cannot wait to give you guys some Corpus, crazy, plenty content. Sending positive advice to each and every single one of you guys, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye!